Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to sew this simple top. Please, if you are watching me and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Like and share this video, leave a comment as well, and do well to click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be first to watch. And also do watch the adverts of this video. It is through the advert that YouTube will calculate and give me something small to buy data to upload more video for you to watch. Okay, so the breadth of the fabric is 46 for front and 46 for back and i folded it into four so two for front two for back okay i'm going to make use of the length the length of the style is going to be 25 so i'll add one inch to it to make it 26 okay then i'm going to add one and a half to make it 26 and a half so I want at the end of the day, I want the length to be 25.5. Okay. Then I'm going to place my waist to measurements. The waist to measure. So I'm going to place my, my shoulder to waist measurement. It's 17. And so 17, I'm going to add half inch to it okay to make it 17.5 the half inch is for sewing allowance purpose okay okay so let's place the neck of this star I'm going to make the neck width of four inches, four inches. And then the neck deep for the front is going to be five inches. And then for the back is going to be two inches. I'll come to this side and make a shoulder slope of two inches, two inches, and I'm going to join it straight to the neck line. So I'm going to curve it this way to meet this. So it's going to be like this. I hope you can see it very well. So something like this. I'm going to go in a bit more. So this is this. This is it. I'm going to in, increase the line to 27 instead of I'm going to increase the length to 27 so that when I sew it will be 26. The length will be 26. I think I'll be okay with that one. So okay, so just this way. Mm -hmm. So this is it. Now we come to the waist line. My waist, I'm going to have a waist measurement of 38, which is going to be, okay, 9. 9.5, which is going to be 9.5, but I'm going to make it 9. And then, then now I'm going to add 2 inches to it. And so that's going to be 11. So I can make it 11.5. But I'll place it at, okay, so I'll make it 11.5. Okay, so from this 11.5, 
I'm going to draw a line this way, curve this way. You see, a curve this way. And then I will draw another curve also this way. You see? Mm -hmm. So the curve is going to be like this. This is the first curve. You see? And this is the second curve. So this is it. So we are going to cut this curve out. Okay. So we are going to cut it now. So I'll first cut the back neck. And then I'm cutting through the shoulder slant. And I'll come to the down here, I'll cut it out. So this is it and I'm going to take this line and this line off. Okay, so this is it for the style. This is it. I'll, I'll take the back part out and then cut the front part. Okay, so this is it. Now with the front part, I'm going to create some slits here. I'm going to create a slate of five inches. You can choose to give the front a zip. You can choose to give it a zip. So, so this is it. Okay, so the cotton facing for this. I'm going to use this for my facing. I will join it at the middle. So I have to this way. So I'll join. Okay. So I'm going to place it on it this way. And I'll make sure it's all. Yeah. So this is where the slate line is. Okay. So this is it. You can just use bias to finish the end, but I want to use facing for it. So I'm going to cut it here, this way. I'm not going to cut it exactly at the edge because I will sew. So I'll leave some few inches here at where I will sew. And then when I get to where the slit line is, I'm going to get it exactly the same. Because at the end of the day, I will split it. Okay, then I'll cut here. Okay, 
so this is it so i can i'm going to care this place okay so this is going to be for my facing and so i will join the middle here i'll join i'll add stiff to it and join So I'll add stiff to it. I'll join it the middle here. Add stiff to it, and I'll use it for the neck area. Okay. So for the back, I'm going to use bias to finish the back neck. Okay. And I'm going to use the the same bias to finish all round to go all round this corner here all round. Mm -hmm. I'll do for both. I'll use bias to go all around it. Okay, so I'll just hold, except, except the shoulder, I will not add bias. But for this place, I'm going to add bias. So I'll just use my bias this way. You see, this way. And then place it here like this. And then close it this way. You see. So I'm going to do it this way. Sew it all around to the corner here. To the corner here, sew it all around. If you don't want to use bias, you can just fold an iron, fold an iron inside like this. You fold, maybe you fold it double. You iron on top. You get to this place too, you fold double iron on top and then sew it through you do that sew it all through all at the edges okay before you join so i'll do that then we'll join i'll do the bias and then the neck area and then the neck area so i will join this way join up to here Okay, so when I join, it's going to be like this. You see. Okay, then I will add stiff to it, iron on top very well. Then I'm going to open up this way. Face the right side of the dress this way. You see, way. You see. Mm -hmm. Then I'll sew it here. And then sew it all through create a notch and then do a top stitch and turn it inside iron on top of the wall so i'll do that and we will continue okay guys so here is it i'm done with the neck this is the front and this is the back okay and all round i have piped everywhere okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sew the shoulder together I'm going to join it this way you see I'll fold this one inside and then sew it on half inch to the ends then I will bring it back in now do the same thing also for this side okay so when I finish I'll just turn it this way so it's going to be like this on the right side we'll sew this one outside so I'll just join it together this way. And then I'm going to sew from here. You see? I'll just put it together this way. This is the waistline. So I'll just put it together this way. And then sew on top. Sew on top from here to the down. Then I'll do the same thing for the other side too. so i'll do both and come and show it to you okay guys so here is it we are done with our top very beautiful simple and i have my belt here very long belt about 90 inches yes so this is it you see very beautiful
thanks so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing like and share this video and do well to click on the notification bell bye bye